Yo, man, it's the Fat Red Guy, man. We back with another video, man. Merry Christmas, man. Ho, 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 and I'm not talking about your mom, okay? We are back with another video, man. We got Degenerate City, the power of Riz. Hey, y'all niggas let me know how to Riz up somebody because I have no freaking idea, man. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comment section. I might have some luck, but I do got a special guest in the building. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Big Nye and my YouTube and Instagram is the Naya Hamilton. So go and bet, bet. We about to get into this video. Do you know what Riz is? Yeah, I know what Riz is. Okay, 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 okay. So you done seen the Duke Dennis videos then? Nah, I done seen some TikTok videos and stuff. Okay. And I think I know a little something about you Riz. Seen some shit that say unspoken Riz or something like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, I gotta make sure you know what Riz is. But hey, we about to get into this video, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that sub. Hey, let's go. Sin, Sin City was Who the hell that Riz? One's ability to seduce a potential, <laughs> usually female. <laughs> love interest riz is a goal that every man tries to achieve straight gay animal whatever it's just a skill we all try to grasp and get a hold of luckily it is a skill that nobody hold up though hold up you saying only niggas don't women do riz too yeah because i know how riz oh hell no you know what i'm saying low key I think women got unspoken ribs because y'all do sh It's something that can only be attained by practice, trial, and error. No one at the beginning is good at it. Although some might start with a little bit more confidence and some might start with a little bit more nervousness, it doesn't matter how you start, only the real ones make it to the end goal Okay. Riz. Now, not all Riz is the same. You have to remember, being a successful Riz master just means you successfully accomplished your goal of pulling a person, meaning that there could be good Riz and bad Riz. Good okay. Riz is the sweet talking, you know, the most common kind that comes in mind when you think of Riz. Basically, when you spit in game, you know, saying a few oh, compliments and jokes with them. I call this Riz Smith, only because this is the type of Riz I imagine Will Smith spitting in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. One of my best examples of how this Riz is said and done is simple. You approach a woman you have interest in okay. and open up with, Dang, girl, you're looking mad breedable right now. Mad <laughs> breedable? What the hell? <clears throat> nigga, that's going to get you smacked, nigga. Nice and fresh. Well, like, you can probably have a million babies in those eggs that I smell. Oh, hell you nah. want me to teach you to Nigga, do not take this. If you read this, don't listen to that. Don't listen to yeah. that, nigga. Cause hey, girls, females nowadays, nigga, you might end up in the ER, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You might end up in the ER, so I wouldn't even do that, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just go up. I wouldn't even say if she beautiful or not. Just got dang go up and talk to her. Wherever you at, say something with wherever you at type shit. But if you saying she beautiful, she tired of hearing that shit. Every nigga say that. You know what I'm saying? So that Riz ain't working. That's like 1980 type shit. You know what I'm saying? That Riz don't work no more, my guy. 17 letters of the alphabet. Cause you are sexy. <laughs> Can I smash? That's a good line. Don't use it though. That's only for me. I don't want you guys to steal my game, you know? <laughs> and I've tested this pickup line with a hundred different women. And well, out of all of them, no way most worked, of the bro. time, Ain't no way it works. They would call the police. But some yeah, guys, yeah. they would let me continue to speak and not call the cops. And in my opinion, that in and of itself is a W. Hell That's yeah. A w, w, so you gonna take a chance yeah. for the call the police, nigga? Hell nah. The bar is low for me. <laughs> Another kind of good Riz is when you impress the target with your natural talent and skills, like showing off in the court while they're watching. I like to call this the head Riz. Cause off of research done by me, it's the quickest way to get it. Uh, now, I haven't tested this yet, but come on, man. This gotta work. It always works in the movies. When doing this, Riz, you gotta show off your talent to the best of your ability. If you play basketball, show off your inner Steph Curry. If you play football, channel your inner Tom Brady. If you play football, bring out your inner mess. And if you play ping pong, nigga, nobody care. Show off your skills. And this isn't filtered to only sports. It could be any talent. If you know how to do magic tricks, do that. 
If you got a weird thing you can do with your body, do that. What Anything damn? you can do to show off to impress your prey, nah, do it. Don't well, do what if you don't have any talents? Well, you should be working on yourself instead of looking to get bitches instead. Big but facts. if you still want bitches, I got the solution for you. Go to PetSmart. They got a million of them in there. In my personal opinion, Nigga, really? Pet smart? What the hell, nigga? Oh, this nigga trolling. This nigga is trolling. Hard, nigga. Yeah, he, he tripping. This nigga. <laughs> but what is you on? Opinion, the best thing to show off is your mixtape. They get instantly attracted to you when you show off your SoundCloud. Always oh, carry around a pair of headphones with you and a CD with your mixtape on it so they can play it in the car. And then once you do that, you're gonna be dripping in hella hoes. <laughs> And make them pay for it too. But let's move on to the worst kind of riz. The bad riz. Bad riz is when you accomplish your goal of getting the number or a dinner date with them. But in the worst way possible. Usually it takes in the form of begging. Some dudes be begging on their hands and knees to their target just to score a date with them. They don't care who's watching. They'd even throw a tantrum if needed. As oh, long as- shit. Have you had a nigga beg before? Definitely. I mean, hands, hands and knees type shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, not hands and knees type shit, but begging for my like, attention. Please, please. Type yeah. Shit. Keep going and keep going. And keep going. Yeah. Knowing that shit don't work. Damn. <laughs> God dang. They get what they wanted afterwards, even though they will only get it out of pity. This is known to be Thanks. a bad look in the community. However, if I had to put my personal two cents in this, if it works, it works. I try this every now and then. Nah. And as long as I get my target they to go on a date pity, to my bro, home, it's... and I lock all my doors, reaching for the strap in my back pocket, with the barrels of acid prepared, and my fake passport and IDs, Ready so I can seek asylum in Guatemala. What the hell? Then I don't personally think begging is a bad thing. It's just not a good look for the Riz community. But I have yet to talk about the best kind of Riz to have. The Riz that's talked about amongst the gods in the sky. A Riz that is incapable of failure. And it is unspoken Riz. If you see us in the club, you'll be acting real nice If you see us on the floor, you'll be watching all night We ain't here to hurt nobody so Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me Wanna see you work your body Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me This is the ultimate ultra instinct super saiyan of Riz The king of it The way this Riz works is not only by looks But mostly your aura Your presence alone pulls in everyone around you Men, women, they, them, anybody and everybody. Just one of they, your signature looks would make them pregnant. What you saying? He said they, them, when he put a picture of Uzi. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, my. oh my God. Hell yeah. <laughs> you got this nigga having a baby or something. Like, what the hell going on? But yeah. That's the best way, really, man. Unspoken ribs, cause I mean, if somebody already feeling you, then you know, ain't really nothing you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? But mainly, yeah. I think that work more, on, you know, females for females' behalf, you know, versus niggas, cause you know, ultimately, guys, you know, we just, you know, set to go up to women. You know what I'm saying? To be yeah. able to talk to women. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? I mean. It could work, but a lot of females they don't like going up to niggas because they don't want to be desperate. They don't want to feel desperate type shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause you just gonna get that type feel if you the type of chick that's gonna go up to a nigga. That's just how it's gonna look. Even though it ain't like that, it's gonna look like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and if a nigga, if you go up to a nigga, then the nigga already gonna think in his mind like, "Hey, I'm about to smash." She don't walk up to me. That's easy smash. That's all you gonna think. <laughs> That's tough. When having this Riz, you can get away with anything. Theft, homicide, murder, all of my favorite crimes, you can get away with. Because you have 
Not old the yourself, look. Man. You don't have to say a word. Never have to do any of the past Riz examples I said earlier. Once you have unspoken Riz, Gumball. you don't have Riz. You are Riz. Riz. That is everything you need to know about Riz. I hope this gave you a better understanding of it if you want to pursue the power of it. But remember, not everybody can be the Rizzard of Oz or the Rizzler. Sometimes some people sadly misinterpret my message and then they start to become known as Riz Cosby. I pray y'all don't take that route. I hope you become like me instead. The ladies usually refer to me as the Riz Straining Order. Oh, <laughs> I got a nickname, but that is the summary of Riz. And in conclusion, do a light skin face. Hey, do a light skin face. Hey. Whoa. I don't really know what to say about that video, honestly. <laughs> honestly, yeah. don't know what to say. I mean, what what is your opinions on it? I'm just confused. Like, I thought he was going to teach somebody how to do it. I, I don't know. And, I don't know. But see, it's going to be some niggas that look at this video that honestly take notes on what he say. Yeah, and yeah. it's a bunch of crap. That's the sad <laughs> part. They're going to take notes. We'll just be real, my nigga. If you don't go up to girls, just take your ass on Tinder, my nigga. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> just go on Tinder, bro. But that really ain't the best way. Really, man, take your ass to the club, man. Cause, or some really not in the club. You gotta be somewhere like Walmart or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or just out shopping. Cause if she at the club, she might be a little thought. You know what I'm saying? Not. I'm not talking about all girls, but I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> in general. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, I would, you can't even now say go to church. You can't even say go to church. You can't even say go to church either. You know what I'm saying? Because they the worst. I don't know what to say on that. But don't pay attention to this. Whatever yeah, you do, man. But, uh. Thank you for coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave her link in the description. You guys, please go follow her. Please go subscribe yeah. to her YouTube channel. Hit that like, hit that sub, man. It's the Fat Red Guy, man. I'm signing out. You guys have a wonderful day, man. <laughs>